When the pandemic started, my brother and I didn't know what to do with our travel business. We had to pivot. Some people didn't believe the pandemic was real, like my folks in Ghana. They were like, oh, this is normal sickness. You can take ginger and lemon and you will be fine. When we got the opportunity to help people, we went out there and helped distribute food, give out masks, and educated people in our community. We wanted the world to come back quickly so that we could all go back to work. We talked to community members and we were able to talk to our church online to help them to understand what is happening in the world. We used our office space with the collaboration of Black Health as a testing site. My brother and I talked to our parents, although they did not believe us because of the disinformation, especially on social media spaces like WhatsApp. They said that it will put a chip in your body and when you put a phone close to it, it's going to stick to it. So after I took my injection, I put a phone on the injection site and they realized there was nothing. I also told them, if I'm taking it and I'll die, do you want me to die and leave you guys? And they did it. They took it before they went back to Ghana. We used our Christ Apostolic Space as a vaccine hub for our community members. I had to carry my COVID card with me so that when I talked to people about it, I could show them I had received the vaccine. We would tell people, take care of yourself. You have to think of your family. If you love your family, you have to do the vaccination so that they will know that you love them. And with that, I think we convinced a lot of people to do it. They believe in us because we were in the community talking to them. They are connected to us and we are part of them.